What's up everyone? I hope you've been having a great day. Welcome back to another video. My name is Evan Ulbricht. I'm a professional surf and sports photographer here in San Diego. Today I'll be talking about how you can edit a professional photo in under four minutes. So I got Lightroom open right here and let's get right into the video. This is going to be part of another learning series, some little tips and tricks on photography. So super excited about this video. Just want to go through my whole process of editing one photo. Um, and yeah, kind of just show you guys what I do using presets, exporting all that. So let's get right into it. So first off, here's a photo loaded up. Um, one of these photos I took from basketball. I think I've edited this before on the channel, but it was kind of a quick edit. So now I want to do kind of a full edit um, of kind of what I do with this photo. So first off, I'm going to crop this photo a little bit, um, a little too much room on the top, I feel like. So always crop it first. I feel like that's so important. Um, I'm going to put him probably right there. Um, that looks good to me. Let's see. His face is a little bit grainy, so we'll use that um, when we're doing all of this down here. Um, for the sharpening, I usually like it around 60, but also that's usually on my presets. So let's check out the presets right here. Usually what I go to next, let's open up sports and right here. So all of these are just for different lighting. So that's why some of them are super harsh because in this certain um, lighting, it's in the gym. So the lighting's pretty bad. Um, so let's f kind of find out what works. I kind of like this deep tones right here. Yeah, that looks really good. So that looks really good right there. Um, and let's see what we can do with this. So I would, first thing is probably, let's see. Okay, his face is a little bit um, distracting. So we definitely want to help that a little bit. Let's see. You probably put on portrait. I like that the best. Um, and Let's see what we can do with the colors right here. So the yellows are a little too much for me. So I'll probably turn the yellows down a little bit. Uh, let's see. Make them a little bit darker as well. I think that's nice. Kind of hides them a little bit. Makes them pop a little bit more, which I like. Um, and then we can go to the whites. I think that's super important. Let's see. Just trying to make him pop as much as possible. Um, if anything, let's try to select the subject. See what this does. Wow, that did not work at all. <laughs> all right, let's do object. And I'm gonna try to select him. Um, and then after I'll select the guy next to him. I don't even know if it'll let me select the object just because there's so much going on in the background. But let's see. Usually it's pretty good, but also usually there's not that much going on in the photo. Okay, that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The bottom, a little too much, but let's see. So what we want to do is make him stand out as much as possible. So make him a little bit brighter, not too much. Um, shadows look pretty good. Bring those up a tiny bit, maybe. The highlights on his jersey, bring those down a tiny bit. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so just trying to make him pop out as much as possible. So I think that looks pretty good. If anything, okay, right there. And then I'm also gonna select the subject of the other guy who's kind of defending him. Let's hope this grabs it. Boom. Ah, get, get his head right there. Okay, there we go. All right, so then what I'm gonna do for him is make him a little bit darker to almost like hide him in the photo. Not hide him, but just have him not stick out as much. Um, so I'll just turn this down a little bit, the saturation, um, kind of just everything a little bit, just to make him not hidden, but just not as in focus uh, for the photo. Yeah, so you can see I turned down right here on his arm. So that was kind of sticking out. So. That helped a lot, and then the color in the main player who I was shooting, his body definitely gets brighter, which is nice to kind of uh, make him stick out a little bit more. And let me try to do the background a little bit to try to see if that works. Did not work at all. Um, let me see. I'm gonna do the objects, and then try to brush, and then do an invert mask, so that for the audience, I could just turn down the color a little bit in the back. Um, why does it, it doesn't want to get his head, let's see. Boom, let's get his hand. Okay, let's, 
think as good as we're gonna get for that. And if you wanna like actually brush stuff on, you can be super precise about this, but I'm just trying to do it a little bit quicker because I mean, you can spend so much time working on this stuff individually. Um, you edit certain photos for hours just by doing all this masking. Um, and let's invert this. Wait, why is his, can I invert the whole thing? Invert, oh, right here. Okay, right there. So that's what we were looking for. And then we're gonna turn the exposure down a little bit and then highlights down a little bit as well. Um, saturation, we can move it, let's see. We can move it up a little bit, let's see. I still want them to pop too much in the background. All right, we'll move it down a tiny bit. Uh, it highlights down a tiny bit in that. Uh, and then for these guys, we're gonna move them up a tiny bit more. I'll move this guy up a little bit just because I don't want him almost out of the photo. So right here, I really like this shot. Um, I would say this would probably be one of my final edits for this, let's see. So this in the beginning just really makes him stand out a lot more. Uh, which I really like and that's kind of the whole point of sports photos is making your athletes stand out um, especially in a circumstance like this and let's see so it's definitely a little bit grainy since we're shooting in the gym so let's go to the manual I usually do around 20 for this uh, detail you can leave it the same contrast so I'll put it around 10 and then colors usually at 25 I can put it to 30 that usually just helps smoothen it out a little bit um, and then if you go back out I think this looks really good honestly if anything, I might give a little bit color back um, to the audience right here. So let's see. Yeah, so there's definitely some sp dark spaces around the photo, but something like this, I think, really makes the player stand out that you're shooting. This is a great shot. You can see his face. You can see the ball, which I think is super important for basketball. See what he's shooting, and you kind of know that you're right under the net. So I think that's just a great shot, a great angle and everyone in the background looks super cool. So yeah, overall, um, that's kind of what I would do to edit this photo. It's a little bit over four minutes again, but um, I think that's just super important to actually understand the basics of editing a photo and kind of just see what other people's workflows are. Um, and then you can kind of use that for your workflow, see what works for you, see what doesn't, and then also kind of just apply what you need to your own. So yeah. Thanks for watching the video. I'm super excited about this new series. It's been going great. Let me know down below what you want to see next. And thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to see more videos like this. I know a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. So try to build an awesome photography community for sports, surfing, and really anything photography related. So subscribe if you want to see more like this. Join the community. And see you next video.